So today we're going to talk about Thread, the exciting, incredible world of Thread. So there's millions of different kinds of threads and there's threads for uh, people who are like doing zip lining and people who are making canvases and all that. But we're talking about motorcycles, cars, trucks, and we'll dabble a little bit into boats too. What we usually use here predominantly is a polyester thread. Um, a lot of times in automotive, you'll see nylon and polyester are your main two threads. And the nylon will stretch a little bit before it gives, the polyester just gives. But it's usually so strong that if you were to try to wrap it around your finger and pull it really tight, you're gonna slice your finger before it actually breaks the thread. Very, very durable stuff. So what we run into most of the time is we have outdoor and indoor thread. A lot of the marine threads are really nice. The polyester is better than nylon because it actually holds the color in and it holds the pigment better. Um, I've seen it and I've done it. Years, 20, 30 years ago, we did an entire boat top in a nylon navy blue thread and it held up great. The only problem is, is all the thread turned pink. So that was a, definitely a bad learning curve, uh, especially when it's a $10,000 boat cover uh, or boat top. So we've been using the polyester predominantly for the last almost well, 30 years. Now, one thing you'll notice, especially with us, we use a lot of Serafil threads. The reason we use them is because their colors are so vibrant. They almost look like they're neon. I love these things. Um, we'll put them on a seat and it looks like you lit them up like electricity is running through them. It's just an incredible um, color. I haven't seen any other manufacturers that even come close to this thread yet. If there are, you know, we'd love to try you out too. But the one problem that you have with these, these are more indoor threads. So on in a car interior with tinted windows, you're not gonna really have a problem or a show car that doesn't see a lot of light. But if you're gonna put like some of these vibrant colors in a car that's an open top car, it might bleed and uh, bleach out really fast. So you gotta really watch what you're doing. So then we'll end up using stuff like this polyester, which is a little bit thicker, and this is the outdoor. The problem with the outdoors, there's not a lot of color options. You do have like, obviously you can see this black is really nice. This red is a really nice color and they don't bleed out. And actually this, I don't know if we can show you this side by side comparison, but if you were to look, these are, one's a 210 and one's a 90, I believe. So it's a little bit thinner thread. But you could see clearly the one on my left, your right, is the Serafil. And even though it's just a black thread, it looks better. It's thicker, it's softer. Um, this one is very, very hard. And we actually have a problem with this specific company. I don't know if it's the manufacturer or not, um, or if our supplier. This thread actually, which I don't know if I could do it because usually, oops. There we go. No, it still can't break it, but this thread here, I can't break with my hand. Obviously you can see I put a mark in it. It's very strong stuff. I probably could have just cut my finger off to be honest with you. From this company, this thread actually breaks in our bobbins. So I really prefer the Serafil one. Um, sometimes we'll use this as a backup if we're running low or if it's something that's not really important. This stuff here is just such a nice, better product. Again, aside from the color, not bleaching out and lasting a long time. The Serafil is, a really, I mean, I sound like I'm doing a Serafil commercial, not even an actual ad for us, but we love their products. It's really, really, really nice stuff. Hmm. Oh, sizes. So there's different sizes and thread, different weights. So this, to me, this is a really nice thickness thread. Um, it shows up very well when you're doing like a custom graphic in a motorcycle seat or even in a car interior. It looks proportionate. It's enough that it's really bright and vibrant, um, but it's not too much. Sometimes you run into our missing thread. Where the heck did that go? I had it up here where it would have been perfect for us to talk about. Oh, I think Ed actually used it. So <laughs> we can't use this one right now, but it's um, the next size up for the thread. It's more of like a hand weaving thread. So it's a lot thicker. Um, it looks cool if you're doing like, like hand stitching on maybe an apparel or something like that. But when it comes to cars, Sometimes it's a little bit too thick and motorcycles I think is way too thick because a motorcycle is smaller and a little more delicate. So this here to me is a really, really nice, perfect all around thread. Um, so if you want to take a look at some of these threads, I mean, look at these colors. Like this is just a beautiful pastel blue and we're so excited to use this color. We just ripped it out of the bag and started sewing with it. And I think this was for a motorcycle seat we did about a month ago and it was incredible. Maybe I'll find the picture. You can put that as your B-roll. But look at these colors. I mean, when you put these on there, it's, they're, they're beautiful. 
everything. I mean, every color is different. This blue here is just a really nice look. $13.94, that's a great blue for the Seraphil colors. This here is one of my favorites. It's just a traditional blue, but man, look at that. I don't know if the pitcher could pick this up. It looks like it's electric. If you put this against a black, well, look how dirty my shirt is. If you put it against a black background, it like almost looks like it's electric. We've done a lot of motorcycle seats in this blue. I love it. Oh, and then this green. Look at this green. What an awesome color. Obviously, we've done a lot of seats in these ones because we keep going through it. Oh, purples and lavenders. Look at the difference here. Now, one thing was kind of funny because I actually caught myself with this purple. So I've been pushing people away from darker purples on black leather or vinyl because when you put it on there, it usually kind of blends in and everything just looks like a black and it doesn't really look good. This one here, the 7377 from Seraphil, is incredible. When you put this against black, you completely see it. It looks like electric. I mean, it's just incredible. This is a purple from a company that we don't really deal with anymore. We just had it in case we need it. But look at the differences in colors and vibrance. This is just like muted, dark purple, nothing fancy. Oh, it, yeah, another perfect example. Let's compare oranges. Here's two Seraphil oranges, right? And then an orange from this other company. You can see the colors are, they're all in the same, not family, but they're close. But even this one here just has something. It's like lit up. And then this one here is very just muted and it's just orange. Orange is orange. This is not just orange. These are beautiful colors. So when you have stuff done by us, we think about every single aspect of your seat. We think about the thread you're using, um, the design, giving you the best bang for your buck for quality for strength and obviously for the look because anybody pays for something wants it to look better so we want to make sure that your seats look better feel better are better and so something as simple as thread hopefully this kind of enlightened you a little bit to more about you know how complex it is and what we use it for and all that so please remember like share follow subscribe ring the bell we're going to do some more thread videos we'll actually sew some stuff together and um have a lot more videos talking about some of the mundane stuff that seems mundane in an upholstery shop or a custom car shop but every single thing we do has so much value in it that we really want to share it with you so you can see something as simple as thread is not that simple